what's up, YouTube? This problem, we have an infinite sum. We have to determine if it converges or diverges. So we have n factorial to the nth power over n to the 4n. So the idea here, when you see something like this, is to notice right away that you have these n's here, right? And so you can rewrite this. Note that n to the 4n can be written as n to the 4 to the n, right? That's a property of exponents. You can do that, right? Because this is 4 times n, 4 times n. So we can write this as the infinite sum, as n runs from 1 to infinity, of n factorial to the n. Then we can use our math skills, right, to rewrite this as n to the 4 to the n, right? So all we've done is we've made that one change, like pros. Now the numerator is to the nth power. The denominator is to the nth power, so we can write the whole thing to the nth power. So this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 1 to infinity of n factorial over n to the fourth, and it's all to the nth power, right, to the nth power. And the idea now is that we can use the root test, right? Uh, the root test says if you have something to the nth power and you take the limit, basically if you take the limit of the nth root of this and you get L, if L, less, if L is less than 1, then your series uh, converges. If L is bigger than 1, then your series diverges. And if L is equal to 1, then there is no information. The root test fails, right? So uh, usually you use the root test when you have something to the nth power. So at the beginning of the problem, right away, that's something you want to look for, something you want to notice, right? If you have everything to the nth power, that's when you can use the root test. That's typically when you want to use the root test. That's when it's to your advantage. In this problem, this is your a sub n. The absolute value is irrelevant, right? Because everything here is positive, n is an integer. Um, so let's take the limit. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of, and I, who cares about the absolute value of this quantity here, n factorial over n to the fourth, and it's all to the nth power. The nth root of n, those cancel, right? So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial over n to the fourth. Factorial grows way faster than any polynomial, right? So this is equal to infinity, which is bigger than one. So our series, so our OG, OG means original, OG series. I guess I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't need to say original since there's only one series, but too late. <laughs> uh, diverges, let's put div, by the root test, right, by the root test. That's it, thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, take care.